Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 26th of 2023 well, it is titled IC 4592, the Blue Horsehead Reflection Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here is you know, what is known by the catalog designation of IC 4592. And this is what is called the Blue Horsehead Reflection Nebula. Now, why does it have such a name? Well, there is a standard horsehead nebula, which is a dark nebula in the constellation of Orion. And that is a very dark uh, nebula seen in silhouette against a brighter background. Now, in this case, instead, we see a reflection nebula. Now, a dark nebula is dust and a reflection nebula is dust. The difference is how dense the material is. So in something like the traditional horsehead nebula in Orion, the, neb the dust is very dense and blocks out the light from behind it. So we see just a dark patch in the sky. In the blue horsehead reflection nebula, we see that the dust is very low density around hot stars. And in that case, we see the uh, light scattered by that dust. So we see some of the blue here uh, around the horse head sticking off there perhaps to the left. And you see a, a lot of blue glow around some of these stars. And that is what we mean by the reflection nebula. It is really reflecting and scattering light from the stars that have already formed. And once it does this, it this dust is very good at scattering short wavelengths of light such as the blue, but not so good at scattering long wavelengths like red. So when it does this, we get a very blue color to these nebula, which is distinct to the reflection nebulae themselves. So we tend to see them as a blue color and the reasoning not exactly the same process, but somewhat similar to what we get for our own sky. Why is the sky blue? Well, that's because particles in our atmosphere are very good at scattering blue light and not so good at scattering the red light. So as the sun sets or rises, it looks very red close to the horizon and then becomes more orange as it gets higher up, eventually getting to be a yellow and even a white color as it gets higher highest in the sky. And that's because when you're looking through a lot of atmosphere toward the horizon, this the, the blues and the shorter wavelengths are all scattered out and then they come around from all directions, making the rest of the sky blue. But the sun itself then will appear very red because that's the only colors that can make it through the dust. So we actually use long wavelengths like reds and even infrared light to be able to look through the dust in very star forming regions to see what is happening there. We can learn a lot more from those longer wavelengths that are better able to penetrate the dust than the shorter wavelengths which end up being completely blocked. So that was our picture of the day for September 26th of 2023. It was titled IC 4592, the Blue Horsehead Reflection Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.